for this, the 46th renewal of the Gulfstream Park Handicap Continental Morn, the biggest price in the field. Jolie's Halo, the 1-5 to five favorite, the highway to 119. Home at last at 9-1 to one with Jerry Bailey Montubio at 28 with Vasquez. Rounding out our field, Chief Honcho from the Firestone Stable, 7-1, Mike Smith. Rhythm from the Phipps Stable at 5-1, to one, the second choice in the field. Sports View, 19-1, to one, Primal, 39-1. to $300,000 at stake. Ross Morton has the call of the Gulfstream Park Handicap. They're up in the Gulfstream Park Handicap, away very evenly, and as they come out onto the main track, Jolie's Halo going right to the front to dictate the pace. Primal and Chief Honcho behind. Home at last is tucked back into the rail in fourth. Sportsview is on the outside. Montumio, Rhythm, and Continental Morn on past the stand for the first time. Under a good hole, Jolie's Halo just bounds along three parts of the length. Primal is right alongside. Chief Honcho is kept close to the pace in third. Home at last, saving ground on the rail fourth. Sports View is on the outside fifth. Then we come back to Montubio, Rhythm, and Continental Morn. A good quarter, 23 and 2. As they start the run up the back stretch, Robin Platt says Jolie's Halo running easy on the front end, has it by a length and a half. Primal is second. There's a half a length. Chief on show in on the rail, inching up a closer third. Another three lengths back home at last, fourth, two and a half, Montubio, fifth, Sports View, Rhythm, and Continental Board. They went the half, 47 and two. There's a half a mile to come. Jolie's Halo uh, in complete control by a length and a half. Chief Honcho is second. Home at last, two lengths back, third. Primal is alongside, fourth, three to Montubio, fifth. Then we stretch out to Rhythm in sixth. Sports View, Continental Morn, three quarters and 111. Now with a quarter of a mile to go, Jolie's Halo has the lead a length and a half. Chief Honcho will have to make a bid now to catch Jolie's Halo as they turn for home with the Gulfstream Park handicap. It's Jolie's Halo holding that lead safe by two. Chief Honcho home at last, primal on the outside of Montubio. But through the stretch, Robin Platt looking back on his way to win number six in a row, Jolie Taylor stays unbeaten by three and a half, a tight battle for a second. Jolie Halo winning the Gulfstream Park Handicap. Good time with a mile and a quarter of 2.01. Jolie's Halo is by Halo out of the Sir Ivor Mayor Jolie Jolie, bred in Florida by the owner Arthur Appleton, trained by Happy Alter, and ridden by Robin Platt. Well, now let's join the Racing Times Editor-in-Chief, Stephen Chris, for his analysis of the Gulfstream Park Handicap and of Jolie's Halo. Every now and again, a horse comes along whose sheer talent breaks all the rules. Trainers call such horses freaks, and they mean it as a high, high compliment. After the Gulfstream Park Handicap, Jolie's Halo definitely falls into that category. He began his career just five months ago, and since then, he's six for six from six and a half furlongs up to a mile and a quarter. Every time he steps up in class or distance, he wins just as easily as the time before. He hasn't been beating up on bad horses either. Last Saturday, there were four grade one winners behind him. Primal, Montubio, Home at Last, and Rhythm. His next start might be the Oaklawn Handicap on April 13th, and that might be the race of the year. Jolie's Halo versus Unbridled versus Farm Away. It's enough to make you forget about the triple.